What is going on? What is going on? What is going on, YouTube? You know it's your boy Sizzlars coming back to you with a brand new video. How you guys doing today? Hopefully everybody's doing well. And today is one of the days that we've been waiting for. It is the start of the eighth anniversary event. And with that being said, there is some stuff that I did want to try out. And hopefully you guys have tried this out as well. But specifically, we're going to be opening up our uh, mystery box today to try to see if we can get ourselves a shiny melt in. And we're going to be out here hunting it very extensively while we try to look for some shiny Pikachus and stuff of that sort. Because those, the Kit Kat Pikachu is one that I really want. But... We just made it to the park and uh it's already seeming like it's about to be a good time um i wanted to if you guys have not seen my last uh short um i didn't get anything from the stepping uh scorching steps event well i won't say anything but i didn't get the shiny larvesta which obviously that was what i was hunting for the most and i hatched a bunch so in that case we do have a bunch of incubators so we decided to put all our eggs into uh, we got a bunch of 7Ks and a couple of 2Ks. With that being said, if you guys will know today and tomorrow are half hatch distance for everything that you put in the eggs. So make sure you guys are taking advantage of that. And uh, we did get two shinies uh, our last time. We got two shiny Terminators, which um, I didn't have before. And uh, this is a very beautiful shiny. So like I said, I do have a way to be able to trade somebody these in the future if they you know ever truly wanted one um but that's not what we're here for today for we're here for two things in particular shiny k-cat pikachu and the shiny melton and the shiny melton will be something a little bit easier for us to grab because i just did my transfer to pokemon home this morning so with that being said we have the chance to open up a mystery box and then everything is lasting for two times duration so it was instance and daily instance but i also wanted to see if while we're using this Meltan mystery box, can we pause the time by using Dialga? Because that would make our life like tremendously easy. So let's go ahead and see if Roar Time will go ahead and stop this for an extra 12 minutes. I'll just put it on real quick and see if it'll work. But I don't think it will, but I still wanted to try it out just in case. Uh, no, it does not stop the time. So that's fine. Um, that's that's fine it's, it says that i'm not using it so i'll go ahead and put on the star piece since i know i'm going to be increasing the time for uh all the pokemon that i'm catching but nevertheless uh i was just trying to test that out next time we're going to be accessing our instances and see if that'll work the daily instance or the what is it the lucky the lucky mystery box is counted as an instance as well i don't understand why that one didn't get extended but it's fine maybe they just didn't want people to try to extend for these days but nevertheless let's go ahead and keep hunting and try to see if we can find something noteworthy and see this is exactly why we come out here i was trying to get her on recording but my go plus got to it before i was able to get to it but we got ourselves a shiny 612 shiny meltan ivy's on it not really that good but this does add to our collection for shiny meltan because i actually don't really have a lot of it Let's see, we got a total of three now, which included this one, and it's actually pretty high IV. So I'm probably gonna end up evolving one of these over a little bit later, but I'm definitely gra glad to have gotten that one just real quick. I saw the, the color on it and I was like, yeah, that one's it. That one's it right there. And uh, I tried to record it, but my Go Plus got to it before I got to it. So I'm actually pretty lucky to have caught that one. Um, yeah, now we just need to keep moving on. So while we got the time, let's go ahead and hop on into our first Ho Ho raid since it's back since it's return. Uh, Ho Ho has a very special, you know, memory in my heart because there's actually one time while I was here, I took down a Ho Ho, me and one other person, and we literally had one second left and uh, to take it down, and we took it down. It was just me and another person, just by ourselves, and we took it down. But it turns out to be a shiny 98 ho ho and it's named ho ho one second that was actually the one that i put in the showcase last week uh it took a lot of work to take it down it took megas and everything and the other dude wasn't really that strong this thing is only like level 38 so i was doing a lot of carrying uh, but nevertheless we did take it down and uh let's see what we can grab from this ho ho raid i'm you know maybe we'll get ourselves a lucky or uh, a shiny on the first raid to just return uh i think this one's having its uh raid hour this week and then next week is all about the um, Ultra Beast. As you guys don't remember, the Ultra Beasts are coming back. There actually was some nice uh, updates coming up. I, when I find a nice area to sit down and relax, we'll talk a little bit about it. But there was some updates for the game of Pokemon Go coming out. And they all seem very exciting, including everyone might be able to get a chance to get a shiny Ultra Beast uh, early before Go Fest with one of these events that's coming out. So 
quickly. Let's check to see if this ho ho is uh, shiny. And if not, then I'll catch you guys when we get there. But yeah, there is an event coming out that might be uh, a chance for everybody to get a free shiny Ultra Beast through research. And no shiny, but a 2665 weather booster ho-ho. Let me I'm go ahead and catch this thing and I'll catch you guys soon. Okay, so while we got time here, let's look at the specific Pokemon that we're, you know, kind of hunting for this event. Specifically, this Pokemon right here, the Costume Hat Grimer. This is a brand new shiny coming out in this, in this event specifically. Uh, and it's based on his costume. The reason why this one is coming out in particular with the uh, party hats because I think this Pokemon's uh, deck entry is 88, so it makes sense on the 8th anniversary to bring out a Pokemon with 8 in the uh, 8 in its uh, uh, Pokedex entry. But without that being said, I am pretty happy with this event in terms because it's a lot of potential to get a, a ton of useful Pokemon. All the starters are becoming out of uh, research uh, task rewards. So I'm pretty cool with that. I'm pretty happy with that. But then on top of that, we do have chances to get some very nice costume shinies. Like I can't be mad at any of them that's hatching. But while we're talking about that, let's go ahead and look at the blog real quick to determine some of the new events that are coming to Pokemon Go because there seems to be a lot that's uh, about to happen. And uh, with that being said, I wanna you know check it out. Uh, specifically, the next community day has been announced already. The next community day in Pokemon Go will be Electrike, or uh, what is it? Oh, Tynamo community day and then it evolves over to uh electric and then electros so a lot of people keep saying it's, it's useless but i think that it's a new pokemon so i'm gonna enjoy it like i mean you can't really be mad about that and then looking at where is this okay so this is the event that i was pertaining to when i was talking about the ultra beast coming back to pokemon go um july 8th at 10 o'clock to uh, saturday july 13th so that's the week that's the day right before um oh actually that's the start of uh right at the start of go fest uh ultra beast will be in the uh raids so starting on friday or that friday i think i uh, started on that monday it will start with guzzlord then nihiligo on tuesday wednesday depending on which hemisphere you are it'll be celesteela or cartana Thursday, it will be Stack Attack or Blacephalon, whichever hemisphere you are. And then Friday, it will be Buzzwool in the Americas and Greenland, and Faramosa in Europe, uh, Middle East, Africa, and India, and Zirkatry in East uh, Asia. So you definitely have chances to get some of those. As you can see, on the five-star raids, if you read the blog in, in, in its entirety, it says, if you're lucky, you may encounter a shiny one. So, but you only have the asterisk next to Nihiligo, Guzzlord, uh celestilla and cartana those are the only ones that have the shiny eligible from the five star rage but moving down this is where it gets interesting because i noticed that they have the asterisk next to uh zirkatry guzzle uh no zirkatry buzzwell and fair most of the brand new shinies that came out during their respective go fest um this year and uh with that being said you have chances to grab some of these shinies before go fest from the time research in particular. Um, and these are free Ultra Beasts. I mean, you can't be mad about that. Like, it's really just free Ultra Beasts. And then you get some uh, remote rate passes will be increased uh, to 20 on Monday, July 8th, all the way to July 11th. Uh, and then there'll be no limit. There'll be no re remote rate pass limit on Friday to Sunday, uh, July 12th to July 14th. So take advantage of that if you want to. I'm gonna be doing as much as I can, but the price doesn't change, so it's still pretty expensive. But uh, take advantage of it if you can. And then trainers at level 31 are guaranteed to receive an XL candy for trading Pokemon, blah, blah, blah. We don't really care about that. And then you can also get an Ultra Beast ticket that'll give you additional 5,000 XP, two times Stardust from winning the uh, battles, uh, one additional candy, um, one additional XL candy and up to two free raid passes for spinning uh, uh, spinning photo disc at gyms. So you also get Nia Legal candy, Cosmic candy, Buzzwell, all the pretty much all of the um, candy for the respective Ultra Beast. And then you also got a Star Piece. But trainers that have both this ticket and the Pokemon Go Go Fest ticket will be able to attain 
10 free raid passes for spending photo discs at gyms each day during the Pokemon Go Fest. So if you're in a big city like myself will be, this will probably be beneficial for you so you could get yourself more uh, raid passes without having to spend them or having to spend the money to go buy them. Um, I will be buying a ticket specifically for that bonus itself. Uh, but if you already have raid passes or if you don't really care about the Ultra Beast that, to that degree, then you don't need to buy it. I just say save your money because um, it is, how much is it? It is $5, $5 on top of the $15 that you pay for the GoFest ticket. If you pay for it, yeah, it's like $20, $20 now. And then that's not even including raid passes, incubators and stuff of that sort. So if you guys have the chances to save your money, save it. Um, but if you want to buy it, you can. There will be new Pokemon backgrounds debut. So Pokemon, uh, usually, if you look, at, I'll show you guys at right after this clip. But usually, if you go to an in-person event, there'd be Pokemon specifically with backgrounds for those catch cards, or like it's like catch cards, basically uh, uh, showing the area where you caught it at. But now some Pokemon will have specific backgrounds for the not not the area, but like just in general, they'll have specific backgrounds that are different from their original background. Um, and it's already actually um, in the game. There'll be a global challenge um, for if we complete it, we can get the uh, uh, the beast ball, and then we also get some ultra locks going going. And then there will be special web store uh, web store offer bundles. One for nineteen dollars, which is forty um forty premium raid passes and three remote raid passes, which is actually not that bad. Um, and then another one for thirty-nine or uh, for forty dollars, you get an ultra hatch box with feature two LSG eggs, twenty-five incubators, and thirty super incubators. So, if you guys have the chances to grab that, you definitely should. Um, moving on, okay. Let me go back and let me show you what it actually looks like for the catch cards and then the uh, thing. Anything about that? So, if I go in here and then I go to special background, this is a new one that uh, came in. These are where all your Pokemon with the special backgrounds are going to be. Let me see if there's a thing for catch card. Uh, is it location card? Right, if I could spell, that would be great. And then card. It's not there. I know it's on my legendaries. Let me go check. Let's go check on my legendaries. And then I know one in particular that we got last year at this one or not that one where is it at it's in one of these i gotta find it there you go right there in osaka when i went to osaka go fest as you can see the background is on there this that means that it's like a special background you can only get these for going to in post raids but now it'll be different based on where you get the pokemon from with this new background feature so it's a very nice addition it makes your pokemon unique it's pretty cool in my opinion um but something else to add just to add to the game add more fun to the game in general all right we've been talking long enough it's already been a seven minute clip let's go ahead and let's go continue our adventure i'm actually about to start my daily instance i'm trying to run out the melton time but i'm trying to start my daily instance pretty soon here since we have the time and i ain't got nothing better to do i'm still waiting for my uh melton box to run out let's go ahead and hop in a grimer party hat grimer raid um i have a day i have a free raid pass so it's fine it doesn't really make no difference for me to join this one i just did take down oh my goodness i didn't know these people were going to show up um i just took down um another ho ho this one was 26.99 it's a three star but really not that good um yeah and uh still catching nothing else shiny but uh still having a great time nevertheless why does it say it's only one person in here but it's actually five I don't understand what's going on. Yeah, it says there's nobody in the group. It was like a shadow raid or something like that. I don't know. It was like it was like people was in it, but there wasn't here. That was strange. You guys saw that firsthand. There was nobody in the raid yet. It showed that there was five people in the raid. Um, and I couldn't start it by myself. But nevertheless, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and take this down and hopefully, fingers crossed, get ourselves a shiny party hat grimer the brand new shiny party hat grimer 